Now that we have already looked at the laws of indices, let's quickly run through the laws or the rules of search. So as you see here, we have got six rules on the board, which would come handy while simplifying questions based on search. Now rule number one here says nth root of a can be expressed as a to the power of 1 by n. And I believe this we have already covered under the definition of search, right? So n here is known as the radical power. This is the radical sign and we have got a positive integer a. So nth root of a can be expressed as a to the power of 1 by n. For example, let's say we have uh, fourth root of 10. This can be taken as 10 to the power of 1 by 4, all right? Point number two or rule number two says nth root of AB can be expressed as nth root of A into nth root of B. So basically when we have a common uh, radical power for A into B, then it can be split as nth root of A into nth root of B. For example, let's say we have uh, cube root of uh, cube root of 12, cube root of 12. Now this cube root of 12 can be expressed as, now since 12 is 3 into 4, it can be taken as cube root of 3 into cube root of 4. Alright, so these points would generally be useful while answering questions uh, under simplification, right? We can use any of these rules and arrive at the required answer much faster. Now, rule number 3 says nth root of a by b, right, can be taken as nth root of a divided by nth root of b, which is uh, similar to what we have seen in point number 2. Here we have multiplication and in this case it is the division of the two numbers a and b. So if we have let's say the same point uh, you know uh, cube root of uh, 16 by 7. So this can be expressed as cube root of 16 divided by cube root of 7. All right. Point 4 nth root of a whole to the power of m. So this as you see is a combination of a simple third raised to the power of m. Can be expressed as a to the power of 1 by n whole to the power of m. Now if you try to observe this rule number 4 is a combination of rule number 1 with a law of indices. Right? We know that nth root of a can be taken as a to the power of 1 by n. So within the brackets we have got nth root of a which has been taken as a to the power of 1 by n whole to the power of m. Now from the laws of indices, we very well know that a to the power of m whole to the power of n should be taken as a to the power of m into n. That is the powers get multiplied. So here again we have to just multiply the powers. So this will become a to the power of m into 1 by n. m into the other power here is 1 by n which is equal to m by n. So it can be expressed as a to the power of m by n. Right? So in any uh, simple example there. For, for example let's say uh, fourth root of uh, 25 whole raised to the power of uh, 8 can be taken as uh, 25 power 1 by 4 whole to the power of 8. Now this can be expressed as 25 power 8 by 4 which is equal to 25 square. So as you see when you actually look at fourth root of 25 whole to the power of 8 looks to be a complex term right but when you simplify using this law we get it as 25 square which is 625. The point number 5 here is nth root of a whole to the power of m. If you look at point number 5 or rule number 5, it is quite analogous to rule number 4. Instead of power m here, we have got power n. So what happens? m by n becomes n by n. n by n is equal to 1, right? So this is a power 1, which is equal to a. So any nth root of a, when it's raised to the same value n, it results in a. Okay. And the last one here says mth root of nth root of a will be equal to mnth root of a. Now I am sure all of you have followed uh, the intermediate steps between these two uh, terms here. right? What happens? mth root of nth root of a. It can be taken as, this can be expressed as mth root of a power 1 by n. Now again, if you try to uh, take mth root as power 1 by n, this becomes a power 1 by n whole to the power of 1 by n. Now going by the laws of indices, we know that a power m whole power n is equal to a power m into n. So let's multiply the two powers here. What do we get? a power 1 by n into 1 by n which is equal to a to the power of 1 by mn. So a to the power of 1 by mn becomes mnth root of a, right? So this can be expressed as mnth root of a. Right? So these are uh, some of the rules of simple search and the rules of indices that we need to remember and apply intelligently so that we can simplify the questions based on search and indices much faster.